We want to talk to you about China, America, and technology, and yes, talk tick and all that. But Dan, I've just reaffirmed for us your bullishness on these beleaguered techs right now. Is this the mother of all buy the dip opportunities in Apple, in Amazon, and the others? Yeah, look, I view it as a golden buying opportunity because, in my opinion, we're still in the sixth inning of a re-rating in tech, and this is just a healthy pullback. I still view 20 to 25 percent higher for tech stocks and fang names over the next six to nine months. Dan, when you say that to clients in a Zoom meeting, whatever it is these days, 20 to 25 percent higher, what do they say back right now? Most of the <clears throat> questions are... Which are the names? Who in software do you own? What are the <laughs> tech themes? Because, John, what I would tell you is it's two, it's two to one ratio. Investors looking to do the work on who the winners are. From my perspective. Yeah. I think Deutsche Bank asked this question in the last week or so, Dan. So let me ask it of you. The distinction between a tech revolution and a bubble. A bubble, which I, you know, I was, I was, I was an analyst through 99, 2000. It was all about secular themes that might happen, and the stocks were massively overinflated with no profitable business models. Now, the secular themes are here today. In my opinion, the most transformational tech themes that I've seen in 20 plus years in terms of cloud. 5G, cybersecurity, and others, and these numbers now are starting to reflect it. That's the difference. The secular themes are here, and they're on the horizon. It's not on the common a hoop, and I think that's the difference, and that's why this continues to be a paradigm change in terms of valuations for tech stocks, and I don't view these last week or two as the end. Well, or some sort of sign of a bubble. Dan, there are a lot of people who would agree with you. They would say that the TOTS page on TalkTick, as Tom might put it, would do really well and could drive revenue. But what multiples make sense? I mean, how high can we go at this point? Yeah, and I think that that's where I think a lot of these names have to view it as some of the parts, as well as ultimately what numbers look like in a normalized state when we look at it over the next 12 to 18 months. And a lot of these growth stories, they've been accelerated by one to two years, sometimes two to three years. So th these are still a digestion process in some of these work from home names, a Zoom, a DocuSign, a Zscale, or some of the core cybersecurity. And when you look at large cap tech, I mean, the stronger getting stronger. And I think we go into earnings in terms of 3Q. That's going to yeah. be another catalyst higher, in my opinion. 